episode we ended up spending the entire episode working on draconic evolution because draconic evolution is so bad and buggy in this version but that is besides the point we ended up getting everything that we needed for the creative power cells which was the draconic creative capacitors and now we have two of the creative energy cells from power which is going to go into our very first energy cell which is going to be perfect but in today's episode i want to handle a few other things today i want to handle the creative tank the creative energy cell and maybe as well as the creative storage upgrades as well before we can do all of that though we should be able to go ahead and make ourselves a crafting upgrade from refined storage and we're gonna go ahead and tell it hey we want you to craft ultimate singularities on autocraft for all the time we are looking for upgrades not that okay so i guess we don't have upgrades for some reason i don't know why we don't have upgrades taught when we should have them taught because we have the other upgrades taught maybe i'm just dumb or something i don't know but there we go we should be able to now craft ourselves a crafting upgrade which is going to allow us to do some cool stuff with it so if i go ahead and teach that real quick and then get our self a exporter with a ultimate singularity and a spruce drawer and a downgrade we are going to want an iron upgrade we are going to want the other upgrades as well so if we want the upgrades we're going to go ahead and type in at drawer upgrade and make ourselves the iron upgrade the gold upgrade which apparently we don't have gold ingots at all gold upgrade and the diamond and emerald upgrade as well we are out of upgrades well that's not that great go ahead and make some more of those that should be fairly simple and make ourselves an emerald upgrade go ahead and teach that all to our emc table i have an idea of what i'm going to be doing here to kind of help us facilitate making the auto crafting of these large recipes much easier and that is coming soon so we're going to go ahead and do that i am going to grab a iron upgrade because we're going to need one extra for our crafting unit here or for our drawer i'm gonna go ahead and put our drawer down right you know what right here sounds good we'll go ahead and put this up facing towards the drawer like so go ahead and grab ourselves a ultimate singularity like so i can click drag it into there like so and then hit craft and it should automatically kick off the craft potentially maybe not craft or ultimate singularity maybe it wasn't actually there let me go ahead and craft one what are, what are we missing we're missing aluminum singularities why are we missing aluminum singularities we shouldn't why you do this you have zero why do you have zero singularities i'm mucho confused you're not being pulled out why you are being pulled out though huh am i dumb or something why is that not pulling into the drawer did that get did the thing get something that wasn't supposed to i'm a bit concerned that these aren't getting oh you're the wrong singularity first of all how did you get oh no are all these broken oh no okay diamond singularities aren't getting pulled out why is this actual diamond singularities right here yeah diamond singularities aren't getting pulled out why when they should be i'm a bit concerned that oh that must be full there's no way that's full no it's got 46 of them hello that's platinum this guy we don't even have any downgrade oh we do have downgrades in these right okay fair so why are you not triggering the craft you should be totally triggering the craft i don't know why you're not triggering the craft it's oh i see the issue now oh no that should be fine that should be totally fine that shouldn't be doing the weirdness that it's doing okay let's try this again okay you are crafting ultimate singularities that's good i like to see that it's just not going as fast as i want it to strangely enough okay so downgrade you so you're only gonna hold four stacks now i would like you to speed upgrade this bad boy like speed it up buster that would be great it's not requesting fast enough weirdly enough it's definitely not requesting fast enough for some reason okay let's just auto request like a stack 
Okay, that's not gonna work because none of the other ones are, are caught up. But that's fine. Whatever. Let's just have it. That's fine. Let's go ahead and just hook this up to an external storage bus now, and that should be good. It, it's gonna take a minute to craft, but it's it's gonna get there eventually. That is not what I wanted to put there, but sure. Is it gonna give me that? There you go. Perfect. Give me a cable, a refined storage cable. Oh yeah, it's a little laggy in the table. That's probably because it's being pulled from all those EMC links are being pulled again. But there we go. Now I have an idea. What if we use EMC links in some capacity? I don't know if we have the personal EMC links anymore. I don't know if those are a thing anymore. It doesn't look like they're a thing, unfortunately, which is kind of a bummer, but that's fine. We can use EMC links. Now, if I want, for example, let me grab let me grab a emc link mk10 i can just grab a stack of these by the way no problem at all and then if i grab oh yeah this is pretty bad external storage buses how bad is the the requesting the pulling let's go ahead and get more of those auto crafting tables from extended crafting tables okay so we should be able to make this now nice and easily okay so we're working on three things today that's right we're working on three recipes today and i'm hoping that these just work also i don't think i need this grass set up anymore i feel like this is quite past due i'm also going to say that we probably really don't need it so i'm just gonna vein mine it and call it a day okay so my whole plan is to take all of our things that we need and put them into emc links and external storage bus the emc links how much of a bad idea this is i have no clue but we're about to find out if i want to make the creative storage vending upgrade we're going to need the tier one tier two tier three tier four and tier five storage upgrades i don't think i have the tier one one so we're gonna have to go make those real fast in like fashion i should be able to do something like this and put all these upgrades up in here for configuration like so and then connect a cable to said system i don't even know if this is going to work the way i want it to but we're about to find out because i would really like it to work i don't have to do that much work but we'll see we'll see how it ends up working out here i might also want to set this to extract only let's see extract only on all of these right so it only extracts and not inputs which is going to be what's better for us i feel there you go you're not doing anything so you're fine extract only good now i want to teach you how to make the creative vending upgrades like so not the vending sorry the storage upgrades just like so easy peasy lemon squeezy oh we need basic storage upgrades or the basic what am i call it the basic template or whatever do i have that installed into my table i do it's right there we're gonna go ahead and shove that downstairs as well go down the elevator here and i didn't check to see whether or not if this worked or not yes it did indeed work good to see and we're gonna go ahead and put our crafting table i actually might just do this down here honestly this is probably the better place to do this honestly we're just gonna get ourselves a chest and maybe a netherite crafter a few of them actually yeah that's good put the what am i call it crafter down like so with a chest and then right here put your thing that there i should now be able to record quest the storage upgrades as soon as i give this a little bit of power that should be good to go like so and this is actually a very forward and simple setup so if i ask you to make me creative vending upgrades please you can go ahead and do so it's gonna drop all the items inside of this chest or at least it should yes extract it should be extracting the storage upgrades and putting them in here there you go we were just waiting for it to finish the thing go ahead and say hey go ahead and do that shift click it there click it so it crafts as soon as we give it some power with a flux point i just realized i got rid of our grass area and we still need to do patania that's kind of funny i am a smart person and then that should craft that and then i should be able to import using an importer i'm gonna break the bottom block here do we really want to use an importer we could also use a whatchamacallit the interface if we want but i think we're just gonna make it simple and go with the importer and that should be good to go one set of those and one set of 
these so once of the speed upgrades should be good to go like so and that in there three speeds one stack and slide that right under here like so and that is now your creative vending upgrade your creative storage upgrade now done so that is now done off of our list of things to make dear god we're gonna make all the energy cubes this is not gonna be fun the basic energy cube should be fairly simple to make we do need to make the energy tablets however which are going to be interesting to make let's go ahead and do that let's go ahead and teach it to the system go ahead and grab two of those bad boys out of there we're probably gonna need more than two if i had to guess but that should be a good starting point there we go we just need a little bit of iron which is fine we can go ahead and put all of this away for now iron ingots go ahead and grab some of those that should be fairly simple like so our basic energy cube and now it's literally just the about upgrading them right so we need probably a ton of energy tablets and then also a bunch of those alloy things which should be fine so to make the next one we're just gonna need like i said that one did i please tell me i taught that to the system energy cube i did indeed teach it good i was about to have a heart attack if i hadn't taught that there we go the ultimate that should be fairly simple like so and then the ultimate is very simple like so and then we gotta get every single energy cube so we want the elite advanced and basic cubes and then those are gonna get put into a system as well so grab these and then you are gonna go ahead and do this go ahead and teach these the things so basic advanced elite and the ultimate energy cube is super simple the external storage buses which i already have in my inventory i don't know why i'm looking dear god the lag help me so lord go ahead and do that go ahead and set them to extract only and then basically teach the system the exact same recipe so do something like this with a diamond chest now this time it has power so what we'll have to do is i think tell it not to auto craft and that should be good to go as soon as i do something like that now nope, that's the wrong item do something like not that but sure make sure it's rotated towards the diamond chest like so and then oh did i did i move it again son of a turd okay there we go and then come over here again to the pattern maker thing and say hey make a creative energy cube now i don't know if this is gonna work because again a lot of this has mbt data and it's gonna be very interesting if it does work i'll be very surprised you're gonna want a importer and exporter which we already have i need to be very careful when i'm breaking blocks this pickaxe is so fast this pickaxe is absolutely ridiculous i don't know why it's so fast i mean i do know why it's so fast it's made out of unobtainium and that's why it's so fast unobtainium is like the best material in this mod pack actually fun fact we need importers god damn it i don't have any this should be fairly simple just place it down give it three speed upgrades and a stack upgrade and then that should work go ahead and say hey make me a creative energy cube like so it is going to require a ultimate singularity but that's fine and then it should this is one of those ones that we're going to have to like you know put all of our stuff away in our inventory go ahead and set up but that's fine because we can do that grab all of this once we do this once we'll only have to do it once which is nice which i really do enjoy once we do that no that that doesn't go in there <clears throat> that definitely does not belong in there the there you go go ahead and say craft me a creative thing go ahead and do that click that undo that and that's gonna go ahead and craft it beautiful and then now we can be able to craft creative energy cells without a single bat of an eye which is great because we are gonna need them so that is that Another right crafters we go upstairs and put those damn damn seeds away we don't need them there we go that should have crafted our creative energy cube which by the way we can go ahead and say we want to swap out our power by the way now so we want i don't even know how many of these we want actually how many do we want of these we just want two of these no wait two six we want six more dear god i mean it's doable it's very much doable at this point and i should be able to say hey put that down grab ourselves a plug and make our solar networks not have to work anymore because all i have to do is that that and that now we're generating two 
billion RF attack. That's right. 2 billion RF attack. And I believe this also works based on sidedness. So if I wanted, I can go ahead and get plugs. I can get a ton more plugs with some configurators like so with a configurator, not multiple configurators. If I go ahead and say, hey, go ahead and do something like this. Bam, bam, boom. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Put one on the bottom like so. Copy, paste, paste, paste paste and paste you know what i thought that would have worked but i guess that doesn't work that might work for the point though it might work for the point i'm not entirely sure let's find out so if i go ahead and do this that should now say four bill yeah it works per point okay so it works per point there we go we should now be doing 12 bill or 10 bill for some reason which is insane amounts of power by the way but now that we have that that's amazing we don't even need our solar network anymore the solar network is done that that's over we don't need it we can go ahead and make that not work anymore which is great we can go ahead and turn that off which is nice now the exact same thing is going to go for the creative tanks right we'll be able to get all of the creative tanks in just a second once i go back downstairs and hook up or more of these EMC collector things. It should be pretty straightforward. The only difference being we need tanks instead of energy cubes, right? So it will be one of these. I put away the damn importers again. I keep putting them away on accident. But that's fine. Go and get rid of my tanks real quick. Okay, go ahead and get rid of those. Get rid of that, that, and that. And once again, basic tank advanced tank elite tank ultimate tank all these being hooked up via external storage bus we are just running rampant through this pack right now we probably made like three creative items today this episode alone like actually technically four because the way that i record these in batches so technically i've done like four creative items in the space of like one week which is quite freaking fast there we go and all i gotta do is a simple one little pattern the creative tank uh recipe simple enough everything's already hooked up downstairs for the creative mechanism machines which is amazing make sure that this is disabled get ourselves a diamond chest get ourselves the netherite crafter like so make sure it's facing in the right direction with the wrenchy poo put the crafting pattern in there dump our inventory because we're gonna need it once i go ahead and request a creative tank recipe creative tank recipe go oh is it gonna bug out don't bug out on me now please don't bug out on me now because that would really suck if that bugged out on me right now and just like this same as always go ahead and shift click the recipe in and then shift left click go ahead and select and auto craft just like that go ahead and lock it up and then we're gonna go ahead and tell it to import it into the crafting network and bam bam boom we are done with the creative tank which at this point i really don't know why we need the creative tank i mean other than this recipe obviously but like god damn we've already got all the creative fluids that we're gonna want right like what other creative fluids are we gonna need right i don't really see the point but yeah that is creative tank now done so that is one two four items done and the unobtainium is already done so that's five the only things that are left are this this and this which is this is gonna take a little bit more work to get into which is interesting but other than that, man, I feel like this series has gone by super fast. So to get the, like, again, this is very easy. We need like, what is that? One, two, three, four, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six more. Okay. So six more of these interfaces placed down. So one, two, three, four, six. And then we're going to want all the cores, all of them. So the processing cores. So we want the advanced. We want the improved. We want the basic. We want the construction. We want the deconstruction and the crafting grid. Is that everything that we need for this? Not for the infinite. Sorry, for the creative cell. Yeah, and then the, the crafting grids. Wait, is it different things for each corner? No, just grids. Okay, that's super simple. That is easy enough to get our hands on. Right, so crafting grid deconstruction construction advance that and that that is everything that we're ever going to need for that is done in one foul swoop which is great man i can't believe how much we've done in today's episode we've probably done like most of the creative items at this point like we're zooming through this right now there we go make sure that these are all on extract only because i'm pretty sure that this 
can change what this is made to and i don't really want that to happen so yeah we need more crafting tables we need a few more crafting tables and then we should be good to go right uh, a few more of these ultimate crafting tables oh these are ultimate crafting tables no i want the auto ones the auto crafting tables give me a few more of these maybe like 16 of them we probably won't need that many but yeah go ahead and do something like this go ahead and disable the thing go ahead and give me a chest and then go ahead and record quest you know what i'm gonna go ahead and put a pattern grid down here because we're gonna be working a lot down here do i have pattern grid on auto thing i do not can i make one real fast or is that gonna be too much of a hassle pattern grid should be simple i don't have a grid that's fine i have crafting grids but not normal grids in the system right now there we go crafting grid or pattern grid done all right we don't really need too many of these go ahead and plop that down there go ahead and plop that there go ahead and say hey i want you to make me a creative refined storage controller and then put that in there that should be straight that's the wrong crafter thank god i was paying attention dear lord that would have been really bad i think like i should have made wireless crafting but honestly we haven't really needed to make the wireless crafting system yet right honestly i don't think we ever will need the wireless crafting it's really not that necessary and then we need the creative me controller or the refined controller sorry not me creative refined storage controller i'm probably gonna want to save some space on inventory so go ahead and get rid of some of this stuff we necessarily don't need at the moment like this stuff this stuff we'll need that i think that should be good enough go ahead and teach it how to make the creative or fine controller shift left click boom 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 that's gonna need a import boss at the bottom man look at how easy this is once you get past that like really tricky bit with draconic evolution and the really bad chaos fight you really start to smooth sail honestly it's not terrible right go ahead and do that and that that should be good enough and now that's going to be a refined creative controller just like that easy peasy lemon squeezy there we go there is now only two more or three more sorry three more items that we need and that is going to be the, the creative jetpack and the creative infinite storage and the everlasting guilty pool and then we have our very first creative chest which is pretty insane but unfortunately guys we're out of time for today's episode so with that being said if you guys enjoyed today's episode please do me a huge favor smash that like button smash that subscribe button ding dong that notification bell become a part of the hunter's tribe as always guys i'm gonna love you i'm gonna leave you till next time bye bye